What's up guys? Welcome to Ride the Bean. Today I uh, have been on uh, a pretty cool adventure. I didn't get to make an intro this morning because I didn't really know what was going to happen. But I had uh, an amazing day in Bergen with uh, Thomas Hansen. So uh, come along with us and uh, check out what we did. Explore Bergen city, do some sightseeing, play tourists from the, the back of a motorcycle and see what uh, Bergen has to offer. Show me Bergen. Yes, I hope so. But you should probably do a how-to on how to stay organized uh, <laughs> while camping or riding on the road. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> sure I am the best authority on uh, how to stay organized. <clears throat> I think I'm probably the most chaotic traveler. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see a really beautiful bike. Huh? <laughs> Alright, let's go explore Bergen! road is closed, the road before, uh, in front of it, so uh, if you want to see the old uh, bridge, anyway, I think we have to walk uh, over to it. Okay, it and good. after that we will drive over to Fleian. You see uh, the white building over there? Yeah. That's the old Skansen uh, fire station. Ah. It's uh, not in use anymore, but uh, you can drive up to that and you have a nice view over the city. And we can drive over to the other side and you see the boat over there. Yeah, that um, pier, you can take a nice picture with the uh, Brigian in the background. And here, the old Hansiaters from Germany, use this for a trading post. So they traded uh, uh, dry fish or uh, tough fisk, as we say in Norwegian. In this area, and I, yeah, there's, they had a lot of trading here. So uh, I, I'm not completely sure about all the history, but I know the Germans came in here and ruled this kind of place of uh, Bergen. Huh. And that's why you see a lot of uh, German names in, like uh, the old uh, bakery, Baka Brun. That's a German name, and yeah, huh. it's kind of from that. That's cool. Uh, and it's of course really fascinating to see the buildings. Yeah, changing directions like it's this. It's pretty crooked. Yeah, <laughs> and you can feel the smell. It's like old tar, or char, or yeah. I'm not sure what it's in English, but taro. Huh. This was built in the 1700s, or yeah, uh, uh, the brigand was uh, earlier than that, but I think in the 1700s something ish is uh, the whole place burned to the ground. Oh, but I think that was the first big uh, city fire. I should know that, uh, but I'm not quite sure. I have to check it, but uh, I think that was the first big uh, city fire here in Bergen. So they have to build it up again. <coughs> huh. This is pretty cool. Yeah, and here's a little uh, small city. I think it's cool that they have preserved this yeah. as well as they have. I like these historical sites. Yeah, you can kind of almost taste the uh, old feelings of the place. There's uh, Olaf's well. Yeah. You have a wish? <laughs> I wish for better weather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look how close they are. Yeah, if a fire breaks out here, then... Uh... <laughs> Let me see the old... Yeah, bring yeah. 1970, 1960. Oh, Ulla, yeah. Oh. Yeah, and they have a fire in 1955 as well, with half of this um, part that was left. It was like burned down. It's interesting. Yeah, and under the Second World War. Uh, 
uh, resistance uh, blew up a, s a boat that was lying here and one of the anchors just flew all the way up on the mountain. So behind Fleyam there's a cabin that's called Ankerhitten and there's where the Anker from the boat is. <laughs> that <laughs> says a little bit about how much dynamite they used. <laughs> that's insane. Yeah. Of course Bergen is a historical city like you won't believe. There's a lot of history here. Yeah. On good and bad, bad of course. Trondheim has a lot of history but I don't know anything about Bergen history. Oh, you haven't been on a bicycle, have you? No, I haven't. <laughs> we have the first do, time. Yeah, we have to do something about that. <laughs> we have to come and visit again. Definitely. And you cook the floors. <laughs> you feel like you're going to get seasick when you walk here. These are my colleagues. On my shift, I should oh, suppose, yeah, I should be supposed to be to work today, but I have a vacation, so I am on the A shift. So these are my colleagues from that station that works with me. Huh. They're just uh, out for a stroll, yeah, and some ice cream or something. Getting yeah, icy and getting fatter. <laughs> <laughs> because there's so many boats here, we have a lot of uh, focus on, um, yeah, how to say it, fires in boats and people to be precautious and uh, take the safety measures. Uh, yeah, it's nice to show ourselves because that makes people aware. I kind of feel for a beer. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. For a go like this, it's kind of oh, it be really good with a beer. And I, have been, I haven't been out like this for one and a half year now because of Covid. So. Yeah, what's the situation, in the Covid situation in Bergen like? Uh, there's no uh, infected. Like now, it's just uh, it's been uh, many weeks now without any oh. cases, so it's uh, been uh, really low actually. So this is the old fire station? Yes, this is the old Skonsen fire station. And, uh, I'm not quite sure when they laid it off or stopped using it. But uh, after they stopped using this, there was a, the main station uh, of this city, the old one, is lying right behind the tree there. And now the new fire station is uh, all the way over to the big Lungorsvanne, as we call it. On top of that tower they keep uh, a night watch over the city. Still? No, that's it. They, they're actually opening up again uh, off under the uh, World Cup in uh, bicycling. They opened it up again and I had people here because of um, a lot of the tracks went through the city. So uh, it wasn't uh, possible for um, the fire trucks to go to all the ad addresses and so I have to man up all the small stations around in the city. So that, then there was people living here again. <laughs> and uh, down on the white building there with all the boats, it's uh, Sakyan. A uh, famous place where all the uh, motorcyclists tend to park their bike and eat ice cream and stuff. <laughs> this is smoked by This coffee bar was my biggest customer. I roasted most of the coffee here for five years. 
I've never been here. I'm gonna have uh, a cup of coffee. Let's take a drink. Let's double cappuccino. Same as me, yeah. Two double cappuccino. Yeah. I've had a lot of coffee, so it smells like a lot. Yeah, it's not that serious. But it's good to go for a nice fine coffee. Yeah, it's not that serious. It's very good. It's good for everyone. Let's go try it. What do you think? Yeah. It tastes more like... Ch uh, chocolate or cocoa, more than the taste coffee. Yeah. It's kind of like a, a bitter uh, cocoa chocolate drink. That is uh, very typical for Brazil. Like typical Brazil flavors, if you taste like a lot of chocolate and nuts, it's, the coffee is likely from Brazil. It's strange that the, the tasting can be so different from uh, what you use. Uh, everything I kind of relate to coffee is the old brew I have on my Mocha Master. That's kind of coffee for me, that's the definition for, of coffee. And every time I get to taste better or more posh coffee, it's kind of like, damn, it's a lot of flavors that I didn't expect or didn't know was there. So, and it's kind of like, every time you educate yourself towards flavors, I do it the same with whiskey. Every time I, I taste a new whiskey, I can kind of relate to the same thing I do with coffee. So it's kind of like a, a beginning trip for me to get to um, know better coffee than I did you earlier. So it's exciting in kind of in a geeky way. <laughs> right, on to the next cup one. Let's check out uh, the coffee mission. One of the best coffee bars in town. Hi! Hey! Ah, so good, so good. Lotto, lotto, sex. Yeah, it's 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 Ja, fra Kaffebrygget sitt, fra Island. Det er fra et fremlegg på Island, fra en tidligere kollega som har jobbet her. Ja, jeg har vært og besøkt henne. Jeg har laget et intervju med henne, Sonja, på YouTube-kanalen. Utrolig kul danne. Ja. Det var to år siden, tror jeg, som var på Island og besøkt henne. Det var da hun startet å holde på å bygge opp den nye kaffebarnet sin. Er det tyskjevær, ja? Det er pasta, og de også i hvert fall. Eller får du den? Ja, veldig. Sånn cherry. Ja. Det smaker litt sånn som Haribo Cherry Gotteria. Bra, vi gjør for bra gamle. Kjente slå. Jeg har alltid sagt at det er litt slå vettet med kaffe, og så traffer han, og så ser jeg at det er mer enn hva slå blir. Det er faktisk mye smak da. Nei, tusen takk for gang. Tusen takk. Det var en fin dag. Ha det godt. Det var slutt, men... We managed to get a, a cup anyway. Cheers! <laughs> this is a coffee from Iceland. Islandur. Yeah. So if you want to see who, who made this coffee, you can uh, watch one of my first videos on the channel. The interview with uh, Sonja Grant Björk. She's a really cool. Grant. Say it again. Sonja Grant Björk, I think her name is. Grant <laughs> Björk. Really awesome lady. She she started uh, um, she started two coffee roasters in Iceland, yeah. and um, her first roaster was a bright pink coffee roaster. There's an Instagram channel that uh, ride with locals or something like that from uh, Iceland that uh, 
do a lot of uh, adventure touring around on Iceland. Those guys have the most amazing trips on Iceland. So I'm really looking forward to, hopefully, next couple of years, I will do a one or two week trip up to Iceland. Icelandic, uh, that would be a cool language to learn. Yeah. <laughs> We, we kind of talk the same, um, a lot of same words with Adam. They just sing the words in a yeah. different uh, way than we do. And the Danish, like the girls in the um, coffee shop here, uh, they talk. Uh, same with my friends from uh, Denmark. It's really hard to understand when they talk fast. Yeah. Mm. They have a potato in their throat. Yeah, well, For helvete, man. Coffee is always nice. But let's go up and have a look at the view. Headed now. Uh, now we're heading up uh, the mountain, uh, up the mountain. and we're doing the uh, fast way, <laughs> taking the fast line. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going up to the famous mountain, Flea. <laughs> cool. This is like the number one tourist thing in Bergen, or yeah, this and uh, Ulrikan. But uh, Ulrikan is uh, closed at the moment because they're doing uh, maintenance or making a new gondol. Right. So uh, this is probably the most visited place, and Bryggjas, of course. Yeah. yeah. Fun to be a tourist every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a view! This is beautiful. When the sun goes down, there's a lot of people up here at the evenings. And of course there's a lot of hiking up there, opportunities just yeah. everywhere up here. I understand why this is a popular spot. Yeah. 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 Nope. Nice. I'm a fauna. <laughs> all the schnobs lives. <laughs> See the main two main buildings, the tall buildings over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not far from that. It's uh, a part of the city called Fauna. And uh, the fire uh, firehouse that is there is my workspace. A more so work place. That's where you live? No. Or close to there, no. I live right over the mountain that way. Oh, so you live so, on the opposite side? Yeah, so it takes me half an hour or something like that to drive to the... But that's, this, uh, that's the firehouse that has a specialty in uh, USA and uh, rescue with rope and rope access. And, uh, so that's my kind of extra field. Not just firefighting, it's also a specialty. Every, every station in Bergen has uh, their own uh, specialty. And that's where we had uh, our coffee. Yeah. First coffee. The name was the place, Smith. 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 Yeah. Smith. Yeah. yeah, and you see the, the building with this odd shaped with, uh, concrete on top? With the water, oh, yeah. with yeah. the fountain. Yeah, yeah that's uh, Grieg Hall. Ah! Cool. This was uh, an amazing day. Thank you for the tour of Bergen. Yeah, of course. My, uh, My pleasure. We'll Always nice honest. to get a, get a local guide, personal yeah. guide. <laughs> and it was really amazing to finally meet up with you again after yeah. uh, Bukiretta. It was, uh, it's been a long time. So it's Nice to, even if you haven't written that much today, it's been nice to see you again and chat with you. Likewise, absolutely. We have to do it again soon. Oh yeah, we definitely have to do it. I have to come up and visit you, yeah. and you have to come back here, and we have to spend a couple of days so we can go camping and uh, yeah, go to my cabin. That would be awesome. Yeah. Let's do that. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little tour of Bergen, and um, don't forget to visit Thomas' channel and subscribe to him. He makes amazing videos. Uh, <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, hit the like button, subscribe if you like the video, and uh, click the bell if you want to see the next one. Buy coffee. Buy coffee. <laughs> Get a bag of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Cool. Peace out.